Hello everybody, welcome to Yoga with Snehal and today's yoga stretches is for cyclists and to strengthen our lower back. So let's begin with the first stretch which is hip flexor stretch. So the target area for this stretch is our glutes and quads. Bring your right leg up and place in front of the mat. Left leg should be stretched behind. Place your hands on your waist and push your hips forward. Squeeze your glutes to increase the stretch. Make sure your uh, knee and your ankle are in one line and then push your um, glutes towards the front to get that stretch in your quads. And repeat this couple of times and hold this posture for 5 counts. And now switch the side. Now your left feet on the mat firmly placed and now we are pushing our cords towards the front. Repeat this for 5 to 6 times and hold every time for at least 5 counts. Next let's go for the cat cow posture. Your palm firm on the mat and wrist and shoulder aligned. Inhale, take your back low and raise your head up. Exhaling, get your back up towards the ceiling and neck low. Let's repeat this cat cow posture for five to six times. This is a very good posture to strengthen your lower back and to release your muscles. Now let's go for the stretching of each leg. So get your right knee close to the elbow and lift it up with your neck facing up. Again, inhale and exhaling up. Now with the same feet, we are going to rotate our feet so that we release our hamstring muscles and the quads. So just take your knee, right knee close to the elbow and just give a rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's repeat this with the other leg. Let's focus on the left side. Inhale, get your feet in. Exhaling, stretch it up. And now the rotation. So inwards. That's clockwise. And anti-clockwise. Now the next posture we are going to go for is the downward facing dog. So lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling and give a good stretch to whole of your body. Okay, make sure your heels are pushing towards the mat so that you get that intense stretch. Now go for the plank and to the downward facing dog. Let's repeat this push up from the downward facing dog to the plank for five to six times and now we are going to do the postures with the lying down on your back make sure there is no gap between your lower back and the mat so stretch your hips and get aligned your body to the mat the first posture is lifting the knee leg to the 90 degrees so lift your right leg up and hold it for five breaths and now let's focus on the left leg take it up to the 90 degrees give a stretch make sure your feet is facing the ceiling after the stretch the next posture is the shape 4 posture so take your right feet leg and place it over the left knee and now Hold your left knee close to your lungs. Keep pushing your feet close to your lungs so that you get that intense stretch throughout your glute and your hamstring muscles. I repeat this with the left leg onto your right knee and you pulling close your feet close to your lungs to intensely stretch. Keep pushing your toes down towards the ground so that you feel that stretch throughout your hamstring muscles and relax. Repeat this stretch 
five times. The next posture, the next stretch we are going to focus on is a spine twist. Here we are taking both the legs together, both the knees pointing towards the right side and the head towards the opposite side. So inhale, exhaling, take both the knee towards the right and head towards the left. Inhale up, exhaling, both the feet towards the left and neck towards the right. Hold this posture for 5 seconds on each side. And next we are going to focus is on the bridge pose. So lift your, lift your glute and your back and then relax. So get your knee close to your hips. Now lift your hips and your back. This is going to loosen your uh, stressed muscles throughout your body. Relax. These were few stretches. To ensure cycling doesn't have a negative effect on your body. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.